Apache Kafka. If you work with data in any capacity, you're either already using it or you will be soon. Why? Well, because it's become the universal foundation for applications and data pipelines everywhere. And yes, I know there are a lot of intro to Kafka videos out there, but I really think now it's time for a fresh look at where Kafka is and where it's headed. And of course, we also have to talk about how Kafka and AI are related. Kafka encourages us to think about events, not things, but things that happen. In the old days, in the thing-centric view of the world, we had a database and we came to create one big application to sit in front of that database. And we eventually came to call this the monolith. The monolith became too big to think about. Developers had a hard time maintaining this big piece of software and kind of a different idea, a different way of architecting systems emerged. And instead of this big giant program, we decided, you know, we're gonna write, well, a bunch of small programs that we call microservices. And each one of them has a little piece of work to do. What about analytics? Well, let's go over here and put a good old data lake here. Traditionally, this thing has been filled up by batch processes. These days, increasingly, what you've got is the data lake being fed by Kafka. So you have a revolution in application architecture. You've got a revolution in analytics as well. What's gonna happen though with the data in the topics? Is it exactly right? Is it perfectly ready to go? I mean, what would be the odds, right? So we're gonna have to do some kind of processing of this data also. Increasingly, folks have been using another Apache project called Apache Flink. What about AI? I mentioned that too. We kind of need to get that on the board because these microservices might not just be programs that you write, but they might call out to a large language model to do their work. As this user puts in requests of the system, this service might become an AI agent that calls out to a large language model. That large language model is gonna to need to be enhanced or augmented with all of the data from the enterprise. Google Docs, wikis, whatever that is, that stuff that this foundation model, Claude, ChatGPT, whatever, doesn't know about, that all needs to be augmented. And to do that, that requires real-time streaming data to be a part of life. So if we're gonna have an AI solution, we need to have this data streaming platform in place. So what is Kafka? Well, in the simplest terms, a distributed log. More than that, it's the foundation of a revolution in application architecture, in data architecture, and the foundation of any practical use of AI in the enterprise. 